little mini project on the go. So my favorite snare, the shark tooth. When I made this, obviously originally I had freedom lugs and they'd have had gaskets on it. And because I replaced them with grand star lugs, I had to make my own gaskets. And you can see over time, they've, they're starting to bubble a little bit. So they're not, they're not the best. So I want to replace them. Now, originally, on the Art Stars Grand Star Customs, the, the lugs came with a gasket like this behind them. Single ply, and it just protected the paint finish. Now, a guy on one of the Tama forums designed one of these um, Superstar lugs, which is 3D printed, and I think they're so cool, because they've got like a recess in them, like the, like the Star Classic lugs. So, I've gone for the Grand Star Star ones, and they look like this. So in terms of 3D printing, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I've, I've had this machine about two weeks. Um, I'm going to do a separate video purely on how I've learned how to use it. And the design of these, you obviously design them in a 3D model. And then you bring them into this sort of program, which is called Ultimate Cura. And this is what slices the actual model and allows the 3D printer to print it. Like I say, I'm going to go more in depth on that on a, on a separate video for that. But I've got a few more to print and then we can put them on the drum. So I'll get the drum apart in preparation to put the, the new uh, gaskets on. So just an overview of how it started. This is the first one I printed because um, this, this come with a printer in green. But you can see it was really stringy. I then got some black TPU, which is flexible plastic and had another go and you can see how awful that turned out. Then somehow I managed to bodge this print and on the back and then that's when I realized how good this this could possibly be then I um, actually designed the model for the Grand Star and I had a nightmare printing it you can see how much it's warped and is misshapen then after starting to mess about with settings which has taken me at least a week I'm now at this sort of stage and they actually look like a proper product so I'm really happy with them right while well, that's wearing away let's get the drum apart Here comes another one off the production line. Beautiful. So as with most of the drums I restore or rebuild, I put these in certain orders, just like, you know, because of condition. I mean, these ones are all fairly nice, but I'll take them apart one by one. So these are the gaskets I made, and you can see they've distorted quite a bit. And as I mentioned, I tried to design them so they were size for size, but that just doesn't work out because it obviously the pressure you, when you squeeze them, it, 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 it never sort of finishes flush. So with these ones, which are TPU, which is flexible, but it sort of holds a more rigid shape, that'll actually sit in the recess and they'll be all uniform and they look so professional. first one installed. Whilst I've been replacing the gaskets, I remember I modified this, this block to attach the new uh, strainer on and I hand cut a gasket for that. So I'm gonna take that off and we'll draw it up and we'll 3D print one and it'll prove how useful having one of these is. So here's the strainer block that I need to make a gasket for on this face. I've taken my dimensions and I've managed to draw it up. Now, this software is a free download online, and it's called FreeCAD. Um, I did a Google search, and there was about three or four free ones, and this is the one that, from an engineering point of view, was the most user-friendly for me. I mean, something like this would normally take, I don't know, 30 seconds to draw and then save, but obviously it took me about an hour to learn how to use all the CAD. So I've got my shape there now, and uh, all you need to do is export it as a STL file. Once it's an STL file, you can then drag it into your Cura program, which is like the, 
the nesting software, if you will. So once it's in your Cura program, you can you can flip it, you can rotate it, you can see how it's going to run, and then you can slice that, and it will save to a, an SD card, and then you can print it. So I've taken the SD card out of the printer, loaded that into my machine, and now all I do is slice. and then save to removable. And now it's converted the G code to the SD card. Which is now on here. So back into the 3D printer. Now if I come over to my menu and go to print, there it is. And then all I've got to do is tune the bed to 65. And that will now spit out the gasket once it's warmed up. like a glove. Now we can reinstate the, uh, the adapter. It just looks so much more professional. Really happy with that. Last two gaskets are now printed. I've just got to replace these two and it's job done. All replaced, let's get the hardware back on and tune it up. All back together now, well chuffed for the result. It just makes it look that a little bit more professional. What a bit of kit this is gonna be. I need to do some work on the bed to level it up so I can hopefully do multiple batches. Uh, I'll work on that over the next couple of weeks. And like I say, I'm gonna do another video purely on how I've done the 3D printing. So stay tuned for that. I think it's really gonna help me on projects going forward and the possibilities are pretty much endless. So uh, stay tuned.